Good morning, friends. I hope you're having a great day. It is currently Monday, August 15th, and it is like five in the morning. I wanted to come here and show you how I utilize Microsoft Word. Um, if things get fumbly, it's because I'm actually remoted into um, my desktop PC, but I'm on a Mac laptop. So if it gets weird, I'm sorry. Um, but I just want to show you how I use Microsoft Word to split my images for sublimation. I just started doing sublimation recently, um, like within the last couple weeks, and I'm having a blast. But I have an Epson 2803 that I converted to sublimation, and I only can print in an 8.5 by 11 or an 8.5 by 14. So that obviously um, limits the size I can use. So I quickly decided to learn how to piece my images together, which so far has been awesome. Um, it's not just about splitting your images, but also um, getting good pressure, but not too much pressure on your, um, you know, heat press and all that. It's, it's a bunch of science-y figuring out things. Um, but anyway... This is the first step. So I already have Microsoft Word open. And the first thing I'm gonna do before I even bring in an image, I'm going here to layout and then margins. And I'm gonna make my margins as small as possible. And I'm gonna change it to landscape so that my images are side by side. And you will see. So then I will go ahead and get my image. I don't like to do like insert and bring it in. I just go and grab it. Um, where is it at? We are not at Christmas. We're on Halloween. Oh, excuse me. So we're going to go momster today. The first thing I'm going to do with her is click right here because right now, if you try to move her, she, she doesn't go anywhere. So we want to unwrap her like a present. So right here you can say it's behind the text and make sure. Okay, I always do that allow overlap thing. Now she can move freely in her life. And the next thing I do, um, not all images need this, but some of the ones I get do, Right here, there's a lot of white space. So if I made her eight and a half by 11, the eight and a half by 11 dimensions would be by this line margin, not the actual image itself. So I like to go and crop her so that I get as close to my image as possible. That will give you the best, well, the most bang for your buck in my opinion. So there she goes. Now, when she's bigger, we don't have any problems. Over here, so if you ever want to go to your image stuff, like and you're like, where'd it go? My picture format. You have to actually have your image um, highlighted. So then I'm going to go, and I want her, ooh, pardon. I want her to be 10.95 inches wide and she big now. So you can either move her around until you get like your, where you want her. Um, but I just go right up here to picture format position and then she centers for me. So here she is. There are two ways you can split your images. I'll show you the first way right now. And all you need is one um, page on this one. So if you want, you can just use your arrow and this is where she can split. Or you can go down a little if you don't want her to split on her eyelash. I like to look for a place that is like the least obvious if that makes sense 
So I can do it right there. And then up to file and print. And this is what will print from top to bottom. Then you can go in after you've printed this page and you can arrow up. And this is what will take a while. You will spend your life doing this. You can grab a coffee. You can do whatever it is you need to do because when you arrow, it's going to take a while. And the reason why you want to arrow and not just use your mouse is because if you move it from left to right, when you go to piece your image together, um, you can do it, but it's easier if you just line up the edges of the page um, on either side and then piece her together. I know that's weird. Um, hopefully that makes some kind of sense. But here, I'll show you. I'll stop arrowing for a minute, or I can still show you. Over here on the sides, if you use your mouse and you move the picture up and you slightly get it to the right, when you line up these pages over here on the sides, when you piece this part together, it'll be off. And so like, you might end up with like a jagged edge or something. If you wanna see how I piece it together, um, go ahead and leave a comment down below and I can go ahead and do that. I've kind of tried it multiple ways um, and I've now found what works best for me. There are multiple different, you know, not different ways. I mean, you can only put something together one way by taping it. Um, but there are like different methods to get to point the last point, you know. I'm still arrowing up. I sure am. I'm also going to drink a little coffee. It's probably cold by now, but that's okay. Now, I already forgot at to which point. <laughs> uh, at what point we stopped with her head. On the other one, I think... We stopped at her eyelashes. So here, let's pretend we stopped, we printed all of her eyelashes, okay? So what I'm gonna, ooh, wrong way. What I'm gonna do is, I'll go to here. So on the other page, we printed all of this and her eyelashes. On this one, I'm gonna go and print this so that that way whatever we printed before and what we're printing now we can piece together okay keep in mind i don't remember how far i went because i was jibber jabbering so that's the first way to do it the second way okay so here we have her again the second way you can do it is you can go up here to insert and you can insert a page. And then I'm gonna copy it, come over here, paste it. So we have the same image twice. I'm gonna center, I'm gonna make sure this one is on text wrap as well. I'm gonna take this one, actually I'm gonna take this one and center her up. And this one, I'm gonna center her down. Okay, so we can kind of have a guide. I'm gonna move with my arrow a couple up. And I'm gonna go a little bit down. So we can kind of see the relation between both of them. I'm gonna go ahead and go to crop. Now, if I'm looking at the picture on my right, I know that I can go up to her eyelashes. So I'm going to go there. About there. And then I can bring it down. Then I'm going to go to this one on the right, and I'm going to crop. 
and I'm going to go on this one. I'm going to go about there. So I'm centering this one in the middle because it's my bigger image. And then I'm going to put this one to center the middle but up. And then I'm going to go ahead and I like to bring it down a couple notches just in case. So this one will be the one that has the full glasses on it. So when I piece it together, this one will be my main glasses picture, if that makes any sense. Again, if you want me to show you how I piece them together, let me know. Um, and then when you go to print, you have one image here. Let's see if I can show you both pages. There you go. You have this one and this one. Now what I would do is I would go in and bring something else and put it down here because I don't like to waste space. So if I was printing, if I was printing multiple like images that I'm splitting, I would take a piece, the smallest piece of the other image and piece it into here, if that makes sense. Um, because I don't, I don't like to waste my, my paper. Or if you also sublimate mugs, you can print out a mug sublimation down here. Um, or if, you know, you want to print out more of these little um, candy corns and things like that, you can put little things over here because I do not like to, um, to waste my space. And also with this, um, let's say you're concerned over here, you know, that you don't have enough space. You also can go up to layout. If you have the Epson 2803, um, you can also, instead of just doing an eight and a half by 11 regular sheet, you can also do a, um, legal, which is the 28 and a half by 14. So you go up to layout size and you can go in. So here's your eight and a half by 11. You can go to your eight and a half by 14 and you do have that extra space. So you still can, if you want, go wider. Um, obviously my images aren't, let's see, I'll do 14. You don't want to do this after it's split. I'm just showing you how big it is because that would be weird. So here's your, oh, she disappeared. There she goes. Um, obviously you don't want to do this after it's split, but that just shows you how much more room you could get. It's a lot more room. So there you have it. That is how you can use Microsoft Word to split your images. I have not yet had a problem other than um, my images sliding around on me in Microsoft Word. I need to figure I'm not proficient in Microsoft Word. I used to be back in my heyday. Um, but I've never I haven't had to use it since you know, I became a stay at home mom. So I will have to figure out how or, or if you know how <laughs> to make it where this doesn't happen where like my image disappears like that. I don't I don't know. It's weird. But anyway, I'll figure it out. That's what YouTube is for, right? So I hope that this was helpful um, a little bit for those of you who were also having trouble in Inkscape because Inkscape is good for doing your images and for creating things, but for printing it was not working and it was driving me crazy and I wasted like 400,000 pieces of sublimation paper. But anyway, I hope you're having a great day. And um, I will be showing you how to use pages um, in my next video. Thank you.